An insurer is not the medical practitioner. If you are busy, invest a little bit of your time in understanding the resources that are available to you. The first and most useful is the capacity certificate. Also, you can use the rehabilitation coordinator as an extra pair of eyes and ears to understand the needs of your patient. There is no doubt that talking to your patient is important. However, so too is conveying to other stakeholders the messages that you've discussed with your patient. Otherwise, the message can be distorted in the retelling. The certificate has been redesigned and refined to make it easier for you to facilitate, not hinder your discussion. As you work through the certificate, it will structure the conversation to make your life easier. Your initial diagnosis is always a working hypothesis, a provisional diagnosis, with greater or lesser uncertainty depending upon its appropriateness. We want you to work through and apply your professional skills whenever there is uncertainty. To minimise any unexpected developments, you can invite your patient and their employer to communicate with you as soon as possible. That way, you can refine the diagnosis or treatment as necessary. I expect no less. You should only challenge the beliefs of your patient if you have a good reason to do so. If you have an inkling something is not quite right, there are a number of strategies that we can employ and we can explore those shortly. You don't need to be an expert. There are resources that have been developed and additional resources to be developed that will assist you. During the certificate consultation, Queensland doctors have provided cases of varying complexity to make sure it meets your need. No, the evidence is clear. There are genuine health benefits of good work, so that makes you the good guy.